Hello and welcome back to Dubai Trains to part two of my new layout prequel, Inspiration. So what inspired me to, to change my way of thinking and to, and to change my uh, layout wishes from, from this main line with, with the junction yard to, to something that's going to be uh, totally different. And the fire starter is Robert Todd. I saw his uh, channel, have a look, he has a, a beautiful layout, keeps on working on it and has all kinds of neat tips and tricks there. And if we go here to the 360, it's a bit of an old video, but it shows the layout well. Um, what did I like about this? Well, a few things caught my eye. One, there's a lot of track, which is a lot of uh, switching possibilities. And as you see, it also has a small yard section, so you can do some classification, because you know, that's what a lot of people want, classification. So we got switching on the right, then we got some classification work, and the most left track is uh, the main line that actually goes around the room, so you can do continuous running if you want as well. So just in this one shot, you have almost everything that I want. I think a lot of people want uh, from the layout. And I noticed something else, it's very relatively easy to build. It's all flat, there's no gradients, so you can just get your bench work up and then lay the track quickly. My current layout has three levels and the bench work, <laughs> it's just a lot of work. Uh, and, and it's not really a benefit to be honest. Uh, I find the grades a bit limiting uh, actually, because I can't really use my small uh, switchers. So none of that with uh, Todd's layout. It, it looks uh, amazing. Uh, Todd, great work. Now I'm not saying I want his layout and I want to copy it exactly. No, this is just inspiration. Like what kind of features do I want? And as you see, this layout is inherently different than some kind of main line with a yard and then a branch off of that. So I would classify his yard as like an industry yard, just servicing the different industries along, uh, along the track. Here's the end of the line. Um, I think there's a bridge here. Yeah, you can see it. There's a construction for a bridge there. So you can do a loop, um, continuous running if you want to. So then around the same time, I found an interview with David uh, Gunn on the Rapidos uh, channel. So again, have a look at their channel. Subscribe if you've not done so already. So Dave has the same type of layout as Robert. You might be surprised I say it because um, it's an older layout. It's, it's very, the scenery is finished. It looks amazing but the functions are more or less the same. I mean, because this layout is bigger, you do have more sense of a main line, main type of line that goes through the layout. And here he talks about his uh, brewery. Well, I also want a brewery on my layout. So here he has a nice brewery as well, the JD. There's a lot of switching happening there and he explains how, how he makes it. Anyways, just look at the video. It's, it's full of information. This layout is absolutely eye candy, but that's not the point. The point I want to make is that this type of layout, uh, albeit a bit smaller than his, will absolutely serve the purpose of, of what I'm looking for. And although I think the my initial idea that you see here would also serve the purpose, but I just can't execute it in a normal size space. I mean, reality is most of us don't have a basement, um, unfortunately. I'm just gonna have probably a spare bedroom. That, that's that would come back to this design as well. This is a spare bedroom and it's just not gonna fit. I wanna go more towards the prototypical side of things. And then, yeah, you just need to not squish as much as you want in a small space. It's, it's not gonna work. It's better to just pivot and, and change maybe different type of layout that will give you the same enjoyment and feel. Something that's more manageable and fitting and appropriate for that space. Now I could go to a different scale um, and scale and try to get more in the same space. But that for me is um, yeah, not, not uh, a question. And then even more recently, one week ago, there was on the Model Railroad Hobbyist Magazine. Again, have a look at that channel, a lot of great stuff there. The uh, St. Louis RPM Meet Report. And there, if I just fast forward, is this layout of Bill Denton. It's a very old layout, so I'm sure a lot of folks that are watching this have probably uh, seen it. This is, um, I think, a copy of a prototype, especially some of these uh, track plans. I want to do a proto freelance layout, so I'm not going to copy an existing uh, track plan, uh, but I'm definitely going to draw inspiration out of this. I mean, if, if it makes sense to have this this, this gully with uh, three, four tracks running through it through your layout, that is absolutely an amazing scene. And there's a lot of this that I, that I want to incorporate anyways as well. Like, you know, the road beside it, and then the tracks crossing the road uh, for some industries on the other side of it. That's um, yeah, it's a very nice feature. And you see that as well in the, the Milwaukee Beer Line uh, Railroad. 
uh, that I've reviewed in video number 64 um, on my channel. That, uh, there's also a lot of street running involved, and that's just really something I want to try to emulate. So again, my approach is proto freelance. So this I'm all using as inspiration. What's the feel I want to generate? And of course, everything has to be operational, functional. I don't want to just create track, just for a sense of creating track. Uh, but I do want to feel like this. So I think if you you get the feel, you get all the industries, and then you come up with the with the operational plan, you'll automatically get certain type of arrangements like this because uh, it all stems from somewhere. It all stems from a certain need. So that's what I want to leave for today. I hope it was useful. I hope my, my thinking process was, was clear. And if not, please do just ask in the comments. And if you're looking for some, some help or guidance on your own layout, let me know. I do a consultancy as well. Just reach out to me and we'll see what we can do. Thank you all for watching. Bye-bye. This video is made possible by the Dubai Trains Patreons. Check how you can become a member to unlock extra content.